He came up to the window in the mist, as I'd seen him often before. But he was solid then, not a ghost. And his eyes were fierce, like a man's when angry. He was laughing when he turned to look back over the belt of trees, glinting in the moonlight to where the dogs were barking. Then he began promising me things, not in words, but by doing them. Have you seen that awful den of hellish infamy, with the very moonlight alive with grisly shapes, and every speck of dust that whirls in the wind, a devouring monster in embryo? Listen to them, the children of the night. What music they make. Oh, hey. we have to stop talking now. Yes, <laughs> we do. Hey, it's Vampire Logan here. Our setup is hopefully working properly. Uh, we had a technical difficulty last episode, so that's why there has been no uh, VOD on YouTube episode 40. for episode 40. And so what we're going to do uh, this episode, hopefully everything is working audio-wise, uh, we're going to do a recap of the last episode, a very thorough recap, hopefully. Uh, the only problem is we've been gone for two weeks, so we don't really know if we're going to remember everything very well. But uh, let's give it a shot. And then after that, I'm going to do sort of a, a, a transition, and then we'll come back to and, and continue the show. Okay, so who wants to get started on that recap? Yes. What I last don't week? remember what happened, so not me. Luckily, I you know take notes because I have a memory of a goldfish. Awesome. Um, I love so, fish. Right. So we <laughs> hey, on we, keep on we track. went to Crest. Right. You <laughs> really we good went with to Crest. Right. No kidding. <laughs> Down to the um, going. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So we'll we'll step up. We we started in Valaki. Um. Yep. We got we got um Irina. She really wanted to leave, so that's right, fine. Right, right. So we said we'll we'll take you to Kresk. So we we um, we tossed her in a wagon. We headed over. <laughs> we we saw the the burgomaster there. He showed us to her new home where she was going to be living, basically in a basement suite. Um. Uh, Cora Shabaka and I went to go see the abbot and give him the dress. And um, he claimed it. We had a long it. discussion quite... about that, whether we should do that or not. We, we, we did. Uh... Well, there was. But, at but the then end, we eventually it, just decided it doesn't matter. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, I was so outvoted. We, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> so we did it. I went we back got and forth. <laughs> yeah. Um, I couldn't decide. He, he uh, <laughs> the abbot promised that, and we said, you know, Regardless, we're we're done. We've part done our part of the deal, and the abbot said, "Yep, that's fine. Your lives are safe from him. He won't do anything to us." So that was a little bit of good. Oh yeah, can I add something um, to that? Um, of course. Uh, so the thing we were going back and forth because I want to like cover everything we we kind of did. Uh, we were going back and forth because the, on the one hand, we thought that maybe he might go directly to Strad and try to uh, execute his plan if he got the dress. Uh, and the other side was, if we don't do this, we might be risking uh, our lives because we had traded our in the deal with the with the abbot. We had tr risked trading our life. I think we traded our lives for the for the life of the of the, the child. Uh, person who brought lives. back. Yeah, yeah, just one of our lives. Did not, we not, not know who it was? One. No. <laughs> No, okay. It was. We didn't it would have been his decision. Yeah. Okay. That, that was part stick. of Ramsey's issue. Yeah. So, so we did that, and then that the ultimate reason we decided to go to him was, I think we were more concerned about that, just getting that off of our backs. And if he goes to, we felt bad that if he goes to Strahd, he might get killed, or the, or the construct might get killed. 
I, so, I didn't get, feel bad if he got killed. I felt bad if um, she got killed. Yeah, we kind of really didn't her. want her to go. We wanted her to just have a, have a life and not. She's just chilling, and I love that for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was so. some concern, like, if you guys got delayed through. You yeah, know, yeah, exactly. If we did something. For whatever and... reason, suddenly like, the deadline that... might come and go. In which case, there'd be ramifications that you didn't want to deal or with. Or if we took the dress with us and it got destroyed or something like that, all those other possibilities. So Exactly. We just want to resolve the, the quest. Yeah. Okay, so we did that, and then uh, then continue on, Brian. Um, so, so, let's see. So we did that. While we were doing that, Irene, uh, Irina went shopping with everybody else that stayed. So with Carl and and um Fallon. Fallon. um and they sure. they couldn't <laughs> actually buy anything uh nobody was selling anything but people kept giving her gifts right take this take this take this and then she heard some beautiful singing <clears throat> at one point and she wasn't quite sure where that was coming from um eventually we all regrouped yeah i think you guys and, led her uh, away from the singing initially right well, After yeah, it anyway. because that's like the worst possible vibe. Yeah, you guys oh, were like yeah, thinking totally. it was, oh, this it can't be good. We're in, we're in, uh, well, yeah. Ravenloft. We're in Barovia. Well, yeah. We're in Ravenloft. You don't even have to be in Barovia. If somebody starts to hear you mysterious singing that no one else can hear, yeah, that's not a good yeah. sign. It's a bad sign. It's not a good sign. sign. That's a bad, that's a bad thing. Typically, it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they just tell so, me to have a good time. Right? Damn those voices. They're always right. Um, <laughs> so so eventually we, we, all, we all ended up going to the pool with Irina. Um, and in the pool, oh, what was or coming pool out again? of the pool, it was it was sort of like their... It was remember. a pond. Jesse, what, it what was, was a gazebo and a statue. Of, it was a, oh, a but gazebo. it was a magic pond. Okay. We did detect magic on it. It was radiating magic. Yes, it was a magic pond, of course. But... Um, uh, Sergey, who is, of course, v Vlad's uh, not brother, Strad's Vlad. brother, Strad, Vlad. Vlad. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the picture of him. He looks like a Vlad. He totally does. Um, <laughs> Strad's brother. Um, Thanks, Stradivarius. He yeah. reaches out and calls her Tatiana, and she instantly recognizes him, and and calls him Sergey. That you know she shouldn't really know that that's who that was. So yeah. Anyways, Cora pulled her back way. Um, the spirit sort of disappeared back into the water. Uh, we had a, a long sort of discussion about, you know, what should we do? And and most of us were like, you know what, let's, let's just let it go. We'll let her see how this works. And, and yeah, I think um, the other side was we wanted her to just live her life as a regular person. She didn't need to be this, this, yeah. this person from the, from the past. And, and it but didn't, she didn't it, really go for that, so we kind of just let her do what she wanted. Exactly. Um, and it was if yep. if we didn't let her do what she wanted, when then, we left, she would just go do it anyway. So yeah. it was you know keep her prisoner or not. Yeah, right? we felt that even though it seemed like she was being influenced, it seemed to right. her that she would just. I don't know. It was like I felt so, like we felt. I guess a little bit like. Like she was being controlled, but then I think we got reassured that that wasn't the case. We we, we did some testing, or I think maybe you just yeah we said did that detect just, magic and a few yeah we did things. some tests, so but protect, I, I protection from evil protection and good, from good and evil yeah protection yeah and it didn't do good. anything, so yeah. we figured that yeah. maybe she wasn't being I, controlled. I also think my favorite part of that was <laughs> because Fallon is carrying Sergey's sword. Yes. Oh yeah, I forgot. And it was I happy. did that, and I forgot. And her and the sword actually felt happy. Yeah. Yes, because for the first right. time since I got it, I remembered that it is technically a sentient sword. Um yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't, no, I, didn't didn't about me. I didn't even know it was, it was his sword. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, we so did a big I discussion about that. remembered something. What's up? Yeah. We, we had, had a big discussion, discussion and then that. we just let her go. We, we let well, we didn't quite just let her go. Um Cora had her write a note to her brother. Just in case oh, something yeah, right, happened, right. she wanted to make sure that that her brother knew that this was her choice and she was there and she was fine. Um, and then, and then I 
I held out my hand, helped her into the water, and Sergey uh, uh, came out, took her other hand, and they disappeared into the water. Oh. They, they went under and, and disappeared, right? Yep. We did convince so, her to um, write a letter to her brother. Yeah, yeah we just, you, you just said that. Just said that um, you, oh, I yeah, missed that. Yeah, he was, it's okay. He was reading. And then there was there was a um, there was uh, um, clouds came overhead. Dark stormy clouds came overhead. Um, it was strong. sort of the thunder, lightning, and this giant boom as as Strahd's face uh, appears in the cr- clouds and yelled, "She's mine!" and and there's a big shock wave that emanates from the pool, which uh, knocked me back as well as destroyed the destroyed the little gazebo. Um, yeah, but we all all remained unharmed from that. <laughs> and then we we uh, you know thought about you know our next actions. We walked back to the house oh. that Irina was going to stay in. One more thing about that, and- I think. Um, sure. another, I don't know if we mentioned this, but I was thinking it, um, we, we remembered that, that, uh, Irina wasn't, or I don't know if we did mention this, but I think I was thinking it, um, that Irina wasn't really, uh, wow, I've already forgotten his name. <laughs> Sergei? We just talk- no, the, the brother. Uh, Sergei. Ismark? Oh, Ismark. Oh, no, Ismark. Is- no, no, Ismark. 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 That she wasn't really Ismark's brother. She had wandered in from somewhere. Well, and okay, then she wasn't was adopted by his sister. Wasn't yeah, biologically maybe. his sister, not brother. But they grew but... up as brother and sister. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and then the whole, I think we mentioned Isaac. Actually, was one big thing. Like, oh, yes. well, he's actually not Sergey. Found that out. <laughs> oh, yep. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. He, he, he like said, that. well, if she, if she's Tatiana, I must be Sergey because like. <laughs> That means we're destined to be together or something. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then but we find Sergey in a pond. Much. Yes. I guess we need to <laughs> talk then, to him about that now. Or maybe not. Yeah. Or, or not. Um, <laughs> then we... We uh, together and drowned our sorrows together. Exactly. <laughs> we uh, we went away. back to the house. <laughs> went, went back to the house. And uh, there was a note on the house, um, on the door. Uh, which we read, and it basically was from Strahd saying that we have to go visit him at his castle and that our travel would be peaceful, um, that nothing would happen to us on the way. So uh, we took our wa- wagon at night to Valaki and stayed in the church. Um, and we discussed, you know, what was going to be next. And at the end of the day, we decided that we were going to go to the Amber Temple. But a couple of the things that we were we were shy on was winter clothes um so the only place apparently we can get those is barovia you, you, we back... you were aware of the the shop there but we had two outfits of you have a, you have a, a couple or a, a little that's bit all we needed stuff. that's all we needed um, oh we only needed i thought it, it was, was just Alan and cora that needed no yeah exactly no we yeah because shibaka more. is fine Shabaka is fine. Yeah, Shabaka is not, not fine. Shabaka has has fur, but does not have an immunity to cold damage or condition. Oh, Fair. I thought so, you said because I had grown up in the Icewind in, in Dale. The, yeah, in, where you were before, on the hillside where the Vokter house was, you didn't need to roll. Oh, okay. But we're not going there. Oh, so it's worse. Okay. Got it. Um, so at the, we're going to need some for Sasha and for Ramses and Shabaka. Although I can right. transform into a creature that is fine in cold, so. That's Probably true. can, yeah. At least for part of it. So at the I very least. still need it even with traveling clothes and heavy armor on? Because it's not winter clothing. Travel, yeah, yeah, it's got to be winter. Okay. All right. Yep. Double check. Now, it, the Cantomir. Oh should we? What the hell is his name? Should... Somebody Cantamira in Barovia had a had a store where they where he sold everything from the player's handbook, twenty five gold or less for ten times the cost. Yes, Build draft right. Cantamira. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, mm. but uh, Winter Gear is in there for, and it's less uh... than twenty five gold. So for a certain amount of money, he'll sell. He has chicken two... fairly, pretty cheaply. 
You, five, you guys remember that gold. he has two, two outfits Be, there. Before we go down this road of, of discussion of that, should we... Is this the end of yeah, the, what actually. happened last time? Uh, yes, that's the end. Okay, oh. so, and the other thing I just wanted to say at the end of that episode, we all had a bit of a discussion about how we felt about the episode, and I think the general consensus was the res resolution of Irina's story was a little bit disappointing, but at least it was done. Does that sound fair? I think I was uh, the only one kind of happy. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I like know Ramsey's is okay, too. Like, she's found peace, which is the only, she's one of, apparently, the only two people that are going to find peace here. Because yeah. apparently, uh, I felt like do anything with Sergey. I felt like Shabaka felt like she was as good as dead because she went into this thing and disappeared. So she didn't get to live a life uh, past these this age she was. So he felt like she oh, should. you don't know what happened. But then maybe yeah. her life. Uh, she, she, I think she didn't look dead in the pool. She looked like she was still moving around. Yeah, but like maybe a spirit or something. But I mean, she, yeah. uh, Shabaka felt like she should have lived a a normal lifespan as a per, as the person also, she I was. Mean, what are you going to do in this pool? Feel. Just chill, like. But you guys had yeah. convinced him, I think, well, by talking yes. about. I think you had convinced him by talking about well, living in Barovia is kind of not great anyway. So I think, would, I wouldn't have that, been a good life. I don't think there was a lot of convincing. I think that people just said. Let her do what she wants to do. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, else? What else could we do? We're okay with it. Yeah. What yeah. else could we do? Um, the only other thing that I can think of is there. Alan was wasn't okay with it, by the way. Yeah. No. Yeah. And we'll get into that soon. Yeah, I think we were on the same. <laughs> okay, I just want to say uh, uh -oh. say that because that's what the discussion we had at the end of that last episode. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. That should be part of that. Okay, so I'm going to close it off here. I'm going to do a little transition. Um. Uh, back to a break screen, and then I'll come back, and then we'll start over again. Okay, hang on a sec. Stop me when I got you in my side. I'm gonna get out. 